Hey guys, welcome back to Board Watch. I'm Brian. And I'm Joey. And uh, we're, we don't need to really do a recap because we just had a nice long discussion on episode three. But in the hour, hour and a half that we were just watching that episode, we just got like 10 more subscribers. So we went from 40 to 50. So that's a 25% increase. Thank you, you guys are amazing. So uh, and even I was reading in some of the comments that nobody's even spoiled anything. Like some people have been mentioning some lines from like season six. But uh, like it... You know, just random stuff like that doesn't even really spoil anything. You, it's it's just amazing. Still so, haven't been watching those. Yeah. <laughs> not yeah. not doing the comments. I I will moderate the comments. So uh um, This is my buffer. Yeah. Let's get into episode four. What of it? With the red horse and saddle, even a cripple can ride. I'm not a cripple. Then I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> my father will be <laughs> I'm not a dwarf. I have a gift for you. Give that to your saddle. He'll provide the rest. You must shape the horse to the rider. Start with a yearling. Teach it to respond to the reins and to the boy's voice. Your loyalty to your captors is touching. Tell me, how do you think Balin Greyjoy would feel if he could see his only surviving son has turned black? Who's Balin Greyjoy? I still remember He's seeing dead. my father's uh, feet. Um, yeah. Fiance. I believe your uncles were responsible. Must have been a pretty sight. Nothing prettier than watching sailors burn alive. Seems they've run short of fortress and thieves down south. Now they send us squealing bloody pigs. Again, harder. This is where it happens. I love it. He yielded. Looks like the bastard's in low. Go clean the armory. That's all you're good for. Oh, I can't wait till he overthrows him. <laughs> he's not the main World leader, four. he's just the guy who trained to start the training right? Correct. Yeah. Alistair Thorne. Now you start to not like him, so you want him overthrown. Could you hear it too? You remember your lessons? Who built the Iron Throne? Aegon the Conqueror. And who built the Red Keep? And Aegon the Prue. And how many years did it take to build My the grandfather Red and uncle were murdered here, weren't they? They were killed on the orders of King Ares, yes. The Mad King? Commonly known as the Mad King. Why were they killed? You should speak to your father about these matters. I don't want to speak to my father, ever. Sansa, you will find it in your heart to forgive your father. I have been Grand Maester for many years. Kings and hands have come to me for advice since... What did John want the night before he died? Oh, well, he came inquiring after a book. A book? Yeah. What book? Ah, I fear it would be of little interest to you, my lord. Uh, a ponderous tome. No. I'd like to read it. The lineages and history of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms. Nothing of import, my lord. Oh, there was one phrase he kept repeating. Uh, the seed is strong, I think it was. The seed is strong. Mm. What sort of man would dare have heard it said that poison is a woman's weapon? Yes. Women, cravens, and eunuchs. Did you know that Lord Varys is a eunuch? Everybody knows that. On the morning of my 18th name day, my father came to me. You're almost a man now, he said. But you are not worthy of my land and title. Tomorrow, you're going to take the black, forsake all claim to your inheritance and start north. If you do not, he said, then we'll have a hunt. And somewhere in these woods, your horse will stumble. And you'll be thrown from your saddle to die. Also, I'll tell your mother. Nothing would please me more. Where is Sir Hugh? I'll speak to him. A singularly bad idea. Do you see that boy? There. One of ours little birds. The spider has taken a great interest in your comings and goings. Now look, there. That one belongs to the queen. And do you see that scepter pretending to read her book? Larissa the Queen. 
No, she's one of mine. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. Look at me. You're not to worry about it. If the day ever comes when that boy would rather wield a sword than forge one, you send him to me. Find anything? King Robert's bastard son. Mm. It's got uh, uh, that's fucked listening up. Listening to the king cheat on your sister and queen. Yeah, but you're also fucking yourself. Well, yeah. It'd be really fucked up if he had sex while with his sister while he was. Are you mean? Watch duty. Who's son? You think this is funny, do you? When you're out there, beyond the wall with the sun going down, do you want a man at your back or a sniveling boy? He's not long. What he's doing is for the watch. Technically, but there's more ways to go around about right. it. It's an age-old coach question. Yeah. I've had many coaches in my life playing football. Positive reinforcements. Positive reinforcements. They give me commands. I should have sent you back her head. You do not talk back to me. You are a horse, Lord Slut. And now you've woken the dragon. I am Achilesi of the Dothraki. I am the wife of the great Carl, and I carry his son inside me. The next time you raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands. Let's go, woman yeah, right. power day. Here you go, women. Stand up for yourself. First time she's ever fought back. <laughs> that one right time. Good job. Typical I'm bully, though. The first sign of resistance, he's just like, well, already punched. I doubt it. Backed up immediately. Don't you think it's a little bit unfair? I never met my mother. <coughs> my father wouldn't even tell me her name. I don't know if she's living or dead. I don't know if she's a noble woman, or a fisherman's wife, or a whore. So I sat there in the brothel as Rose took off her clothes. But I couldn't do it. Because all I could think was, what if I got her pregnant? And she had a child, another bastard named Snow. It's not a good life for a child. Mm. So, you didn't know where to put it. <laughs> oh shit. I promise. No, please don't. If the hand so much as heard you mention it, I'm afraid all the knights in King's Landing would not be able to save you. Why did you tell her the story? Yeah. <laughs> Such a little, like, <laughs> said the Loki of this time. <laughs> Loki. In the name of King Robert and the good lords you serve, I call upon you to seize him and help me return him to Winterfell to await the king's justice. Ooh, wow, good for her. Wow, that was cool. She got a lot of pull. Yeah, it's just like, hey, I know you. I know you. 
I know you. Get up. How's your dad? He, he's he's going to get married again at 90 years old. You know, whatever. It's like, all right, yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, he conspired to kill my son. Yeah, get him. Go take care of him real quick. Wow. Networking. It's important. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, though. Yeah. I like the finish to that. It shows her power. It shows... I liked all the women empowerment in this yeah. episode. I really... They strayed away from the cripples and the broken and, you know, really got into... Aria finding her own her own way and uh, not Briseris, um, uh, uh Daenerys. Daenerys finding her own Khaleesi way. Yes, um, you know a lot of the women, even uh, on a on a negative note, Cersei finding a little more stance in her and, yes, and, and Cersei further doesn't you know, mess around. No, and she even let Ned know and parlayed his own threat. And, yeah, he's like, I you know I was raised to kill my enemies and she's like so was yeah, I. same year don't you worry about that it's the game of thrones yes. um and uh no so i think the women are taking a big stance in this and showing that they're just as important um i feel yes. like sansa will have her day eventually but right now she is still very much at the whim and scared of the uh, the hound and the mountain we've been introduced to now, which is the bigger the, battle both, now. The Cleganes. Um, so, the yeah, Cleganes. Uh, so uh, Sandor Clegane is uh, the is the hound, and Gregor Clegane is the mountain. Oh, okay. So they're they're, they're just like giant people, like that, like known as being just like huge, huge. Just they're that type of people. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. Like six, seven feet. We're talking. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. So we got to meet him. Then he killed the knight, which was. Visiting the bastard son of Robert. Well, um, it was the knight. It, it was the person that was given a knight shift shortly after John Aaron died. Right, and so there was something sticky about that. Yes. And so, so they were investigating. Like why? Why did he just become a suddenly knight right, become right, right after, after John, John Aaron died? died? Which now he's reading. Ned's reading a book to read more into the death of John Aaron and possibly the fact that he got poisoned. Uh, the so about but, that book. Um, do you remember what the book was about? The book was like the lineage of all yeah. the seven kingdoms. Cool. And then history. so from that, uh, he decided to kind of go out and he's like, hey, who was John Aaron talking to before he died? And they took him <coughs> to the blacksmith. Right. And the blacksmith turned Gendry. out. Gendry. Yeah, Gendry um, turned out to be housing the a parent right now, bastard child. Well, no, Gendry is the bastard child. Or Gendry is the bastard child of... Um, King Robert. King Robert and... Um, I think was holding still a little bit more back than what he was saying um, about the interactions with the knight. Do you think um, he knows that he's a bastard son of King Robert? I think he does. I think he has an idea of it, possibly. Um, I think he has, like, premonition about it, but I don't think he knows for sure, at least. But I feel like he is holding something back, especially with um, everything he was, like, the way he was acting with Ned when he was talking. I don't think it was just him being bashful. I think he'd have been more energized or more pumped up to be even talking to the hand, the hand of the king, of the king yeah. and not just more like bashful and quiet and trying to stay out of the sh stay in the shadows more okay. um so i think he i think he might be letting on something more um i don't think it was an accident that the uh even though it looked to be i don't think it was an accident that the knight died from john aaron i think he was purposely killed because to they, keep him quiet to keep him quiet about whatever he was knowing i think there's something more serious about the bastard child and think he has more um because i don't think him having a bastard child would really tarnish his reputation that much right yeah because people know he sleeps around yeah i mean literally he's you know whoring around constantly so i don't even think the fact that he has a bastard i think there's something to do with this bastard well, child. Do, do you recall as master uh grandmaster pycelle was giving ned the book uh what he said john aaron was saying on his deathbed the seed is strong the seed and is i strong. think i okay. think I think um, that has to do with him, something to do with that boy, okay. um, and that he, you know he's planted a seed. And um, but I don't know. Yeah, that, I'm not sure about all that. But I also don't think, like, because then Grandmaster Pycelle, I think that was him, was also being very weird about who the, could have poisoned. Oh yeah, because yeah. you know, Ned said say, that poison is usually like a woman's, uh, which I think he was trying to say. So see, right? And, and then, then, but he's just like, well, it's also eunuchs, and so he's trying to push it off on Lord. Barry. Exactly. The, so ball, I the think, ball one. The I think spider. Grandmaster Parcel, he's been through many kings. I don't think he has any tie to any of them. I don't think he has any loyalty to them except just the immediate loyalty that he must have. Okay. I think he does have loyalty to Cersei. 
Um, and I think he has worked with Cersei possibly, uh, or is working with Cersei. I just don't like the fact that he like super pushed it away immediately um, off of someone who I mean I guess technically it could be him too, but could be Varys. Yeah. Could be Varys, but I don't know. Varys seems uh, not involved in that way necessarily, mm-hmm. or directly involved. He may have gotten the poison, or this is it. Varys and Cersei are working together, and he is just. Kind of guiding Ned kind of towards guiding, being like, hey, it was both of them? Yeah, it okay. could be both okay. of them, or even not necessarily not even thinking about Cersei, but he could have just led Ned to even th- think of Cersei. Varys. Varys, I mean, yeah, Varys. Varys, I mean um, in the first place, so I think it could be um, either of them as well. I love how open they leave. Oh, show. yeah. So oh, yeah. Amazing. Well, like, like I said, you're, like, you're starting never, to kind of see where things are going. I like where the, I like where the paths are going. I, I can see the roads a little bit more. All right, so let's uh, go back to the beginning. Okay. Uh, so Tyrion and uh, comes into Winterfell. Yeah. And gives Bran the uh, the blueprints to make for a horse. So he can uh, ride and so get a little more confidence ride. back. Uh, and, you know, Robert was... I don't uh, think Tyrion, I'm a side note speaking of Tyrion, I don't think Tyrion actually gave the blade to okay. uh, that killer. The killer. I don't, okay, I don't awesome, even yeah. think, I don't even think he intends or has a stake in killing, um, yeah. uh, killing Bran. Um, I think it was definitely um, taken by his brother, Jamie. Uh, Jamie. I think Jamie was the one who was uh, tried to kill him once again, or right. even Cersei. Okay. Uh, but I don't think Tyrion has. So yeah, you think it's either Jamie or Cersei? Not I think Tyrion. it's still Jamie or Cersei. I don't think Tyrion. I think Tyrion has an ulterior motive, um, or is even necessarily not even in the Game of Thrones right now. Okay. Um, I think he's just trying to like observe and get as much information if, like that's. Oh yeah, and you saw him on knows. the wall. Like, like, I mean, in he's the just last episode. soak up information yeah. by people, which is really cool. I mean, and um, I like his character for that. Um, but uh, I don't think he's necessarily trying to make power moves just yeah. yet. And shortly after he was talking to Theon. You learned a little bit about Theon's past. You learned that he's actually uh, uh, kind of a captive of the Starks yeah, because the, of the rebellion. I mean, it's kind of like everyone's captive in a way. I mean, if you, it's whoever the victor is, and the, right. you're living in their world at that but, point. But, so. like, they don't treat him like a, ca- uh, like no, a they, captive. No, they treat like, him like The Starks are pretty I, w- I didn't even know until the Right, exactly, episode, yeah. Like, so that fourth episode, testament. you finally find out that Theon is a captive, and it's just like, oh... Well, for a captive, he's treated pretty well. But it's impressive because he was going to kill those direwolves off of like the first yeah. instinct, and not necessarily that he just wanted to kill him something that much. But this shows how much loyalty he has to Ned. But I think it's due to Ned's honor. I think it's the way he treats his people and how he's fair. And I think fairness goes a long way. Ned with Ned's uh, with the Starks, and so um, I think that's grown his own. And I think Ned, and obviously, as you can see, Catelyn Stark um, have a ton of respect uh, from their surrounding countrymen, and I think that is. A foreshadowing to uh, the power that you know what sucks is that I'm not foresh- I mean obviously they're foreshadowing the fight between uh, Ethos and Wessos uh, Esso, 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 Westeros. Westeros and Westeros yeah um, so because obviously everyone's talking well not everyone but well uh, Robert Robert is talking we're really about worried it. about yeah, the Targaryens and, and, the Tar- and the Targaryens um, and uh what is her name? Dar- Daenerys? Daenerys is now getting power and now a Khaleesi and talking about going and fighting. So I think... And she was like, my brother's not going. Exactly. He's not strong enough to do And she really this. wants to go home. And so I think that's going to be an interesting... Um, I think that that is going to be the climax that kills Robert Caratheon. Um, if this he season? Uh, yeah, I think this is the season. You got one so, episode left. You said by episode five, so we'll see about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know about episode five. That was, that was be, <laughs> might have to, might maybe have I thought this... Yeah. Re- reorganized. Maybe, the, maybe uh, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I feel like that will be the inevitable... Because um, I feel like we already are being led to like uh, Daenerys, and I okay. do like Daenerys a lot. Um, and I feel like we also really like Ned, and I feel like we also really like Starks. And speaking I feel speaking like, of who we like, I, I said in the middle oh, of the yeah. episode... Uh, so, top three favorite characters right now. Who, um, Arya, number is, one. Is, oh, okay. is no, okay, yeah. Top three favorite. I would say, which is sad. Probably my favorite is uh, t- uh, the the dwarf, but uh, Tyrion. Tyrion. I think Tyrion my favorite. I like the. That's not uncommon. Yeah, I, I like. I like the. Uh, like at this point in the show, that's not uncommon. He's for people the like most. Tyrion. He's yeah. He's the most um, upfront out of all the characters, um, and I like his truthfulness, and I like how uh, willing he is just to help, and how blatant he is, 
and I like the little life isms that he's given. Oh yeah, he's so like, far. He, 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 he's 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 so, quick with those. Yeah, um, like so I think one liner really. Arya good. is another one of my favorites um, so far. And Jon Snow, man, he's come very far, and is I like where he's not going. Ned Stark. No. Okay. Ned's troubled. I think Ned, <laughs> Ned's in the middle for me. Ned's figuring it out himself. Like okay. A lot of people in life are figuring it out. Maybe that's why a lot of people trying are Trying to push things on his daughters a little yeah, bit. Yeah, trying to push things on his daughters. Trying to figure out how to be a dad. Trying to figure out where he lies in life. Or is he a follower? Is he a leader? Is he going to battle? Is he staying out of battle? Is he Robert's friend? What is even that allegiance? You know? And so I think his, his loyalty and his morality is going to be questioned a lot in the rest of the season. I feel like his... Uh, his his honor is going to be questioned a lot in this season. I feel like you know winter is coming is the biggest thing that he's worried about. Thank God and right. So it's uh, like nobody else is talking nobody about else it. Nobody else is talking about it. So I feel like that is going to be his rallying call that everyone else will rally behind him. Um, I feel like with Jon Snow in power, eventually is at, what at, I'm at the wall. Eventually, at the wall is what I'm foreshadowing. I feel like that would be a good ally for him having Jon Snow the leader of the wall. Eventually, hopefully, I have no idea if he could. But sadly, who knows what would happen there. Right. But uh. <laughs> everything went well in my perfect world um, so I think that'd be a good place um, and then eventually I feel like I don't know if this is the case too but hopefully I don't know how these writers are but I want to see um, Daenerys partner up against the, the the winter with Ned and with Jon Snow and have okay. like, the three like rallying people I mean who knows because then that wouldn't be necessarily like you know yeah, in, in the books, the show, a lot of the the chapters names is just like the person's perspective that it's from. So oh, like, like you're, you're you're hearing stuff inside there. So like there's a, a a chapter just called like John and a chapter called Daenerys. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So um, I like how you look from everyone's and, and perspective. And you can kind of see how whole... the show is pushing them as the protagonists, like the Starks and the Targaryens. Like those yeah. are the, those are the two that they kind of want you to like. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they kind of push. But you, you to still like, like Tyrion. And I still like Tyrion. I really like Tyrion. And not just because he helped out uh, Bran, but um, he's helped out Jon. And he's, he's literally helped out everyone yeah. he's even uh, come in contact with, pretty much. Even his own family. Like, like when yeah, Jamie was, family. like, in the second episode, when uh, he's just like, I really want to know what Bran says when he wakes up. And Jamie's like, it really makes me wonder whose side you're on. And he's like, my dear brother, you know. Yeah, you're like, offending me. Yeah. yeah. The, your mere question offends me. But, yeah. um, no, I feel like he's... he's uh, He's smarter than most, and I feel like um, he's maybe even making a play eventually for something greater, and I feel okay. like that's not now, though. I feel like he understands that, and he's building up the people that he has around him. I feel like he'll help Bran. I feel like Bran will be something with him eventually. Cool. Um, foreshadowed. They definitely foreshadowed that, which is cool, um, possibly. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I, love, I love Tyrion. Um, cool. Yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely my favorite character. Least favorite... Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, we got your three favorite. We'll, we'll, three start, off, favorite. we'll start off with. Uh, I, I have an idea of who the three are going to be, but yeah, well, Joffrey obviously right. is my least favorite. Um, I wouldn't even say Cersei is in there. I would oh, say okay. Jamie, and then I would say sadly, um, Arya's sister, Sansa. Sansa what about is Daenerys. Daenerys' brother. Oh yeah, this, oh yeah, Viserys. Yeah, Viserys. Yeah, I'm sorry, I totally forgot about him. He's not a Viserys. So top three, top three. He's top such three. a little busy now. So uh, is Sansa not a Sansa? I don't know. Sansa more than Viserys. Okay. So, yeah. so, uh, so Viserys, Joffrey, Jamie, Viserys, and Joffrey. Okay. Obviously, the biggest three protagonists in the movie, or in the, uh, in the, in the movie, in the in, antagonist. I mean, um, in in the show. So I would say those three. But yeah, so those three are my least favorite, definitely. Uh, and there's really only one new character. Well, I mean, aside from Gendry. Um, one main new character that they kind of introduced uh, at the wall, Samuel Tarly. Uh, you, you're gonna, you're gonna always like second guess yourself, being like, is his name Sam or is that just the guy from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> it's like, yes, <laughs> actually, his name is Sam. Sam, uh, <laughs> now, that's such a, that's yeah. the fat guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he is a Tarly, and Catelyn Stark was a Tully. Uh, a lot of times people get confused with oh, that as well. Oh, okay, so they're not uh, the same. You, right, so uh, Carly's are still, um, I mean, he's farther south, much farther south than the... Uh, but they sound alike and people get yeah, them mixed up. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, no. So yeah, Tully, Tarly. Um, but no, I see, uh, I like I like, like I said, Sam's so many role. Names. Sam's role in, 
role in this so far is cool, and I think it's he's giving John more confidence, which is the biggest to thing, lead, yeah, to lead and to show that he can lead. And I think his biggest transformation will be John's biggest transformation. Do you think that'll uh, mold him into a soldier? No, I'm I'm either torn between two camps right now. I feel like he'll either turn into a soldier and be like a, a you know axe or hammer wielding like huge brute, um, or I feel like he'll take on another role of finding I feel like a lot of this especially the wall it's finding yourself um, and I feel like especially because a lot of these people don't have anyone um, so I feel like he's going to find his own way um, into something along the lines of the wall this is not a spoiler at all there's like three different jobs uh, I want to say three different jobs at the wall there's the rangers that actually like go out um, there's the stewards that kind of like do everything for everyone you know like, yeah. you know here like, Take empty the chamber stuff. pots and all that fun stuff and then um, they never really go into it in the show that much, but there's the builders that kind of like maintain the upkeep of the wall. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like I mean, not necessarily even one of those, but just maybe even something in his own role. Um, but just I feel like, or I feel like uh, he he's he's the activator for Jon Snow. Okay. So whether that's a support role um, at the wall, whether that's a support role as a ranger. Or whether that's the support role as he died and now that pushes John. He might even die. Possibly uh, calling a tragic death. I'm possibly calling it. That's my third. That's my third. I mean, you're, you're leaving it open. There's multiple I'm leaving it open, but my third option is that he dies maybe at some point and that John gets like... So right now you're only show. calling for one death. I'm only calling for one death right now. I've actually I'm surprised that you're right. I'm not right, calling so anyone's Rob, death. Robert Baratheon. Robert Baratheon and uh, Sam are my two... Okay. Are my two old possible Sam's very Well, yeah, you, you said Sam is still pretty open. Yes. But, like, you, you, you're, like you're... Robert's going to die. Robert's okay. going to die. I'm okay. still calling that soon. This season. I'll say that. This, this season. Okay. I maybe not. Maybe not. Right, you maybe not next episode. We're going to have time. These last was. two episodes were slower than I thought with uh, people I, dying and yeah, slow. Right. I... You know, well, they did the have uh, Sir Hugh die at the joust just now. Oh, yeah, you're right, Sir Hugh, which is a quick death, so... Yeah, uh, so it's like yeah. you introduced to him in like 10 minutes later. I didn't really like him, he was a jerk anyways. But, right? Yeah, yeah, he's just like, I don't talk to people who aren't knights and lords. Yeah, how was it's, that? Being yeah. a knight now? No. Yeah. But, uh, so I think Robert still... I still call Robert dying in the first season. Um, what that has... The repercussions of that, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, that could even, cause a lot, a lot of things to move. If but that um, but I still call they're per, they're definitely foreshadowing some type of climactic downfall of Robert. Um, he's he's sloppy, um, and that's his biggest. I feel like it's, he's they're showing him sloppy. They're showing him careless, drunk at the job, drunk man. at the jousting, drunk talking about war times. The money's not there anymore. Drunk with the sluts, drunk with with the the sluts and just fucking and racking up all these bills for the entire kingdom and owing people uh, he, three million in debt to the Lannisters and six million in debt just in general. And I feel like the three million to the Lannisters is what's keeping him in check right now. And I feel like. Well, he's that's, married to a Lannister. And he's also married to a Lannister, but I feel like that's also keeping his ties strong with that, because I don't feel like he really loves his wife that much. Um, I feel like it's more of even a power play originally, and still a power play now. You don't even see any really um, loving situations between his wife and him, and I feel like they're doing that on purpose, to drive a stake in between them before you as a viewer, and so... Uh, I mean, even even just the jousting that scene, she looks away, all yeah, frustrated yeah. and like disgusted by her sloppy fat husband. Um, and I don't even think she really loves Jamie uh, the way Jamie loves her. And I feel like I don't even think Jamie loves her the way I think Jamie thinks he loves her. I think he loves her in a possessive way. Okay. Um, and I feel like she doesn't love him, but I feel like she looks at him as a source of a means to an end. I feel like she truly does love Joffrey. Uh, her son, right. obviously, and I feel like that is her main yeah, question. Her, her loyalty to her kids definitely cannot be questioned. Yeah, and I feel like uh, overall... Over, they don't really go like, much into the other kids, Tom and Marcella, but... Uh, and I feel like she sees Joffrey as the true king, and that he will be the king eventually, and that she's molding him to be the best king, and I feel like she thinks he's already smarter than most... Well, obviously, I think she's, I mean, she's smarter than Robert, uh, but I think he thinks that... She thinks that he'll be a, the best king, um, and also put her family in power. Um, I feel like they're just slowly planning that revolt eventually, um, and but he's technically a Baratheon. I mean, like, yeah, he's born to a Baratheon and a Lannister. But when you're saying taking power for her family, like, well, I guess it technically is at that point. Like, he's, his name is Joffrey Baratheon. Yeah, technically, even technically, even Cersei is a Baratheon, but everyone just calls her Cersei. Like, because 
when Catelyn married uh, Ned Stark, you know, she went from Catelyn Tully to Catelyn Stark. Yeah. But, like, well, I, I think that's I, the point, is that I feel like there's a, still a divide that she doesn't want to She doesn't be really want to take on the Baratheon. A Baratheon. Mm-hmm. I don't think Joffrey even considers himself a Baratheon. I okay. think even the people that you were introduced as Baratheons uh, are very sub-characters and very, like, passive characters, and I feel like Robert was this... Uh, rallying warrior that was inspiring and had his own means and I feel like against the mad king against the mad thing and I think honestly I don't think the Lancaster or the Lancaster. Lannisters excuse me I guess the Lannisters were uh, funny you should say that uh, some of the stuff in this show is based off of history and the Lannisters are actually based off of a house called Lancaster <laughs> oh that's cool yeah. so see yeah, I'm messing it up on purpose and he was done but, uh, so, yeah, so I think she, uh, used him, originally, obviously, uh, to overthrow the Mad King. I feel like she also used her brother, um, and her brother was, you know, whatever the reason, I don't know, I don't know why they overthrew the king, but for whatever reason they overthrew the king, um, and I feel like she's just slowly been using him ever since, and I feel like he has been, since that's done, I feel like he doesn't know what to do anymore, um, and I feel like he's just been kind of leading and not really taking kingship serious as much, especially they're leading to that, um, showing that, and I think he just got the wrong reasons, and so um, all of it's kind of leading into a, his downfall, in my opinion. All right. Um, and that's kind of been my four shows so far, but again, two amazing episodes, and cool. not as many like Yeah, I think we're getting to that point. Um, they're going to be some pretty soon. Here. Yeah. Uh, the so, quiet before the storm. Right. Giving you a lot of reasons yeah, to be surprised. I mean, you're, later. you're almost at the halfway point of the season. Yeah. Uh, like the next time we meet, uh, we will watch five and six. There we go. Um, uh, this episode four should be posted on Thursday. Okay. Uh, so two should be tomorrow. Three should be uh, uh, Tuesday. Episode four I should post on Thursday. So I already asked people to kind of start uh, posting comments. Uh, asking you questions because, like, I, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm just doing little things here and there. But every <laughs> once in a while, people come up with some pretty clever questions, like, you know, if you were a character, which one would you be? Or you yeah, know, something ask like that. Ask so, me questions. Uh, nice. Yeah, guys, um, I, just keep an uh, eye on the um, info section below the video. I will post like where exactly we are. If we're a few episodes ahead, and I'll be like, hey, you know, Joey and I are going to be meeting up, like, on blah 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 blah. So, ask me questions for episodes, whatever and whatever. So. Uh, keep an eye on that. But again, thank you for watching. Thank you, guys. Uh, the summer child. Yes, still eager. The su- still the summer child. Still um, have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So, so like, subscribe, comment, and uh, again, thank you guys very much.